Hi and welcome to the Clarity Managing Tasks in the Timeline Layout video. I am Katherine Ellis, a Product Manager with Clarity. In this video, I will help you understand how you use this layout to view and manage tasks in a hierarchical timeline. This will help you manage multiple sub-level tasks and their relationships. It's critical to remember that the Tasks module is a generic module and is available across various investment types in Clarity. In Clarity 15.8, you can create tasks for projects and custom investments. While we will demonstrate tasks in the context of projects in this video, remember that the concepts covered here can be applied for both projects and custom investments. Let us log into Clarity, open projects, and navigate to the Tasks module. We are currently in the Timeline layout. Let's start by personalizing the timeline and configuring it so that the tasks are displayed in monthly periods. Let's color the tasks based on their status so that we can quickly identify tasks that are started or completed. Finally, let's ensure task dependencies are visible in the timeline. Now that we have personalized the timeline, let's explore it in detail. The layout is divided into a Work Breakdown Structure, or WBS, and a Task Timeline. Let's focus on the Planning Phase, which represents the topmost level in the hierarchy for all the items below it. This timeline for this phase indicates the duration of the Planning Phase, and you can see the tasks involved in this phase. Define Scope Change and Control Process is a summary task that has two subtasks nested beneath it. The diamond shapes represent the milestones and the line between the tasks represents the dependency between tasks. As the project manager, you want to add a new phase and tasks to create a minimal viable product or MVP after the design phase. Let's add a couple of tasks that focus on building out the MVP. The first task focuses on creating the MVP. Let's add it to the timeline. The next task focuses on packaging and delivering the MVP. Let's add a child task that focuses on getting early adopters to validate the MVP. Finally, let's add a milestone called MVP Complete to the project plan. We can now add dependencies between these tasks. Let's ensure that the users can only start packaging the MVP after the development is complete. Let's edit the tasks and add some details so that resources can effectively complete them. Let's specify the start and end date for the task. We can also list the estimated time to complete this task. This is extremely useful because the developer is only allocated at 50% capacity for this project. We can now add a couple of to-do items that provide more granular information on what is expected from the user. Whenever the resource logs into Clarity, they can click Tasks and view the to-do items and work on them. Let's assign it to the developer so that they can complete this task and log time against it. Next, let's specify a couple of hyperlinks that helps the developer understand the organization's policies around MVPs. Finally, let's inform the developer that we are assigning this task to them. A fantastic feature in the timeline layout is the capability to drag a task along the timeline and adjust its dates. Let's adjust the dates for the second task. Did you notice that the duration of the phase automatically expands to ensure it covers all tasks under it? 
you need to remember a few points before adjusting tasks in the timeline view. When you change the task finish date, the task duration is updated. However, the start date does not change. When you change the task start date, the task finish date is updated. However, the task duration does not change. I am confident you are now comfortable using the timeline view to edit tasks. Thank you for watching this video. For more information about this product, click the information bubble in the top right corner to load the product page.